What's up, my homies? This is your girl, Mash. I'm back with another video. Welcome to my channel. I do contents about beauty, travel, and music. So if you like those kind of contents, please subscribe for updates. For this episode, we will test out ang pinakabagong release ni Mama Ann Clutes, ang Ultimate Beginner Brushes version 2.0. So if you want to learn how to use these brushes, just keep on watching. By the way, I have an ongoing giveaway here on my channel. So, if you want to know the mechanics, I will put the link in the description box below. So, please check it out after watching this video. So, I'm super excited. Ito na sila! Ayan. So, these are Anclutes brushes version 2.0. Hindi ko nakuha yung version 1.0. Well, I'm grateful kasi ang dami daw reviews and then pinakinggan nyo ni Mama Ann siguro yung mga improvements andito na sa bagong brushes na ito, sa bagong set. Ayan. I'm so excited na gamitin sila kasi I received these last August 17 pa and this is the first time that I'm going to use these brushes. Tingnan nyo naman, sobrang linis. Kasi I want to be with you when I use these brushes and mini tutorial na rin on how to use the brushes kasi sabi ni Mama and these are beginner brushes so titingnan natin kung talagang beginner friendly sila as you may know marami-rami na rin ang nag-review nitong brushes ni Mama Ann so let's dive in doon sa pag-apply ng makeup using these brushes so for today I'm, I will try na mag full glam ngayong araw kasi Nag-birthday po ako last week. So, thank you so much sa mga bumate if ever na isa ka doon. Alright. So, first, I want to tone muna. So, I'm using this unlabeled. Unlabeled? Walang label. Parang kayo ba? Walang label. <laughs> Ito, um, Iris Essentials PH na tomato cucumber toner. So, mga ilang ano lang. By the way, I got this with... Beauty Miss ni Mama and then collaboration with Lux Organic. This brush set and this mist cost 999 pesos plus shipping. So, mm, okay. So, mag ano na muna tayo. Ayan. And malamig. Ah, oh, so refreshing. Alright, ito na. Ito na. Okay, ito na. So, we have four big brushes. So, ito yung four big brushes. These are face brushes. So, pag isasa isasama mo itong fun brush, so may limang face brushes. Ayan. Pa limang face brushes. And, one, two, three, four, five na eye brushes naman. Alright. So, iisa-isay natin sila by application na. So, dediretsyay na natin sa pag-a-apply ng makeup. Alright. So, I'm gonna start with foundation. I will be using this flat angled brush. So, what I love about these brushes is that meron kasi silang name. Ayan, nakalagay flat angled brush. O, ba Cutie. So, alam alam mo na agad kung para saan. I mean, yung iba kasi purpose like for example, this one. So, ito is yung angled contour brush. Nakalagay for nakalagay contour brush. So, alam mo for contour. For this one, yung flat angled brush. So, describe niya na flat angled brush. So, Ibig sabihin, multi-purpose siya. You can use this for foundation or blush, actually. Kasi dense siya. So, maganda siya for cream-based na blush. Oh, parang ayaw ko pang gamitin. Super soft. So, for my foundation, I'm going to use Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in the shade Soft Beige. Ayan. So, ganito yung tura niya. Meron siyang paddle na ganda. Ayan, so nagtali na rin po ako ng hair kasi mai medyo mainit and sumasagabal siya. Ayan na, so ito na po. Um, FYI, I already sanitized them with my daily makeup brush. So, mabango-bango sila. I like that, ano, yung pag, siguro yung, siguro yung purpose ng pag ginawa nitong angle. Para ano, hindi ka, kasi kapag ka-flat, nakaganon ka eh, yung ganyan. 
So, ito siguro, para hindi ka mahirapan sa pagka-handle. So, using itong ano, flat brush ni Mama Ann, so, pwede lightly lang kasi nga, it's very dense and super lambot. Wala akong nararamdaman na mahapde. I mean, hindi mo mahapde kasi yung iba, ibang brushes tumutusok, ba? Diba? So, inuna ko yung outer kasi madalas ako hindi nakakapantay ng foundation kapag ka inuna ko yung inner. Lagi ko nalilimutan tong outer ko. And also, may napanood kasi ako vlog or tutorial by Alexandra. So, papakita ko nalang sa inyo kung sino siya. I super love her. You should check her out. May mga tutorial sa na very useful and na, ang dami ko rin natutunan. What I will do is maglalagay pa ako sa inner portion ng another layer. So, kung mapapansin mo, ayan na yung pickup ng product. So, okay naman siya. So, let me just apply more. Siguro ang ano lang dito, hindi mo mapa... Ma... Uy, naparami. <laughs> oh my God, naparami. <laughs> hindi mo siguro maano yung sa under eye. Gusto ko to kasi... Wala akong nakikita ang mga marks ng brush. Para akong nag, ano, nag-blending yung sponge. So, later, pag ginamit natin yung concealer brush, doon na lang natin nasa-focus ay. Kanina pala, sabi ko, five yung face brushes. So, actually, we can also use the concealer brush. So, ito yung concealer brush. And we can also use this sa face, of course. And I'm going to use... Maybelline Fit Me. Ayan, favorite ng lahat to. I'm in the shade Sand. Okay. So, paglalagay, light lang dito. So, uh, for, for using itong concealer brush, is dapat angle din yung pag-apply pag mo like this. Ayan. So, you don't want naman na buong brush is malagyan. So, paglalagay ng concealer is Unahin mo muna away. I-build up mo siya. Before ka magpunta doon sa pinakang, ano, yung pinakamalapit sa eyes. Yung sa under eyes. Super lambot. Alam mo, uh, the advantage of this brush na super lambot is kahit may sensitive skin ka, this is very safe. So, yun yung paggamit, paggamit ng concealer brush. Actually, in this collection, meron din Similar na brush, pero tinatawag siyang eyeshadow shader brush. So, mamaya pa pang shade natin siya ng eyeshadow. Okay, next, let's set the under eye using Nichido. Ayan. Final powder, kung tawagin. So, what I'd like to do is ilalagay ko siya sa takip. And then, actually, we have, napansin ko dito, we, we have this big blending brush. Yeah. This is a big blending brush na gagamitin natin sa under eye muna. So, for this one, tap mo yung excess. Konting-konti lang. So, ang dami niya napipick up. Ayan. Dito natin muna siya gagamitin. Oh, I super love this also kasi super lambot. Okay. And now, we're going to set our face using ito namang powder brush. Ayan. So, first time ko magkaroon ng powder brush. Kasi, ang ginagamit kong powder brush, yung unbranded ko na brush. And, itong MAC na 135S, usually pang contour to, ginagamit ko for, for, ano, for powder. So, ngayon, Super love! Ang laki! Ayan. Okay, so now, mag-bronze and contour naman tayo. We will use itong contour brush ni Mama Ann. So, I love na angled siya. So, meron namang mga contour brushes na hindi angled. So, ito, like, flat brush lang siya. Ayan. I'm gonna use BTLA Sculpt Trio. Ito siya. Local brand to from LA Global Products Trend. Ayan. So, I'm gonna use yung darker shades shades yung darker shade dito so yeah so what i'd like to do 
is magbo-bronze muna tayo. Lalagyan muna natin ng shadow-shadow dito. Try natin sa piece niya. Ayan. So, ang kagandaan niya dito is using this angled contour brush, hindi ga hindi ganun ka-harsh, no? So, you can use this for, alam mo, more, more on bronzing, actually. Hindi siya yung defined na, ano, defined na contour. Ayan, kinlip ko na ang aking hair and lilinis ko ang mga foundation, foundation sa leeg ko. Meron pa lang foundation doon, hindi mo sinasabi. Okay, what's next? If meron kang ganito cadence na brush, what I would, li would like to do, if gusto ko pa nung contour, contour, ganyan, contour na contour, I'm gonna use this care line, care line contour stick. So, ito siya. Ayan. So, ilalagay ko lang siya dito if gusto ko pa ng defined na, ba? Diba? Ayan o. So, matitest natin if this is okay for cream. I must say, it's also effective for cream. Kasi tina mo. Di ba? See the difference? Nagkaroon na siya ng ganon. So, mas payat na ako. So, I'm gonna also use this. Konti lang dito kasi... Kung alam mo yung contour, yun yung parang nag-oopera eh. Nag-oopera sa atin. So, ayan. So, use your angled brush para... I blend yung mga bronze, mga bronzer, mga contour, yun yung gamit sa mga angle brush. Ayan. O oh, ba Gusto mo yun? Alam mo, may, may mga pictures ako na nag-contour lang ako. Mukha na talaga akong payat sa panga. Alam mo yun? Okay, anyway. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa foundation, sa concealer, sa powder, contour. Okay, now... Hmm. Sige, mag-blush na tayo. Okay. This is their blush brush. Pa-dome siya. Pa-dome effect. Para mas ma-press mo sa iyong the apples of your cheeks. Kumbaga, ayan. For the blush, I'm going to use this clay blush from Iris Essence Shawl's PH. <laughs> Nabubulul ako. This one is, ano, clay siya. And then, ito kasi, since dense siya, so, perfect siya for this product. So, nakulot niyong product. Gusto ko lang sa may taas. I like this one. Alam mo, parang pwede din to sa foundation. Yung mga ganito na dome, actually, pwede din siya sa foundation. Merong ano, may something. May sobrang... Gupitin ko na lang later. <laughs> Okay, so magkilay tayo. We have here small angled brush by Ann Clothes. Um, pansin ko lang, sana meron siyang nilagay na spoolie. So let me just show you yung Morphe brushes. So, eto siya, merong spoolie sa end. Sana ginawa din nila yun, pero siguro, I don't know, bakit wala mamaan? At saka, ano, um, it's short. I wish uh, they could have extended it kasi I can imagine na I don't know, mas gusto ko lang na longer yung ano niya, yung body niya. Okay. So, we will try to since wala nga siyang spoolie, buti na lang yung brow soap ni Iris mayroong kasamang spoolie. So, ito. So, this is the brow soap by Iris. So, babasahin lang natin siya using yung face mist kanina. So, lalagay tayo dyan. Okay, so now let's use ito iris pa din na pang kilay. So, lalagay ko siya dito. Ang angled brush can be used as, you know, for eyebrows or liner. So, for this, I think, hindi, hindi siya ganun kanipes for pangkilay, pero let's try. 
Oh, okay. Um, uh, it's makapal. And um, ayan no, yung hindi ko intended na malagyan, nalalagyan ko. So I'm gonna use my spoolie. To brush up ko lang siya. Hindi ko siya, hindi ko siya gusto for kilay. So I'm gonna use my Morphe brush brushes for the kilay and I'll be right back. Guys, I'm so sorry. Hindi lang talaga effective sa akin itong small angled brush for the brows. Hindi naman, hindi naman niya sinabi na brow brush siya, ba? Diba? So, tatry natin if magagamit natin siya as an eyeliner later, okay? So, ayan. Tapos na yung aking kilay. And ginamit ko ulit yung concealer brush para i-define ang ating kilay. And, na, and also, pinrime ko na rin ang ating eyelids with the same concealer na ginamit natin kanina. For the fun part, hmm, okay, so gamitin natin ang fun brush for the highlighter muna bago tayo dumako sa ating eyeshadow. Ayan, so I don't usually use fun brush for my highlighter. So for this video, I'm going to use this. So, um, ilalagay ko siya sa lahat ng, wait, parang hindi na pick up. So for mga highlighter kasi, kailangan medyo basa siguro. So I'm gonna do that. If hindi ako sanay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Mas, ano nga naman siya? Mas concentrated doon yung angle. So, sa fun brush, pwede yung gantong angle. Pwede din pa ganito to blend. Kung gusto mo pa. Uy! Hmm. Pwede. Super highlight. Okay. So, I love it. Okay, ito na talaga. Mag-eyeshadow na talaga tayo. Okay. So, ang napili kong eyeshadow for this look ay ang Bretman Rock and Colourpop Collaboration. This is the Lit Palette. So, tingnan nyo naman. Super pin. Actually, this is his um, version ng Pilipiniana. Ayan siya. So, closer look. Tingnan nyo. Ayan. And then, sa likod, nandun yung mga name. So, ang pinaka-favorite kong name siya is Badi. Okay? Si Bretman Rock, kung hindi nyo hindi nyo pa alam, siya ay Pilipino. He's a um, Ilocano. So, ito siya. Gold-plated gold siya. Meron tong um, kaskama, lit, and what's it called the other one? It's it's blue naman eh. Hmm. Kumaalala. Okay. So, ito yung mga shades niya. For this eye look, we're going to go for um, red. Of course, ito mga red na siya because, you know, it's my birth month. So, yun yung na nakikita kong magagawa kong eye look for today. To be honest, medyo doubtful ako sa mga agawa kong eye look dito sa tatlong brushes na ito. Yeah, okay. So, ito yung tatlong brushes. So, we have small eyeshadow blender. So, okay. So, pwede rin siyang pang blend. And then, this one is eyeshadow shader brush. And this one is big blending brush. Okay. So, yung mga face brushes naman is straight to the point. Okay. Dito talaga tayo magkakatalo kung saan-saan siya pwede yung kandito. Okay. Oh, kinakabahan ako. Wala akong plan na look. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So, ang gagamitin ko ay itong eyeshadow shader brush. Okay. So, yung angle lang, yung kabilang side lang. Like that. So, tap-tap mo lang siya hanggang sa yung gusto mong... Uy! Uy! Walang excess. Walang fallout. Okay? Wala tong mirror, kaya... Ang gagawin ko is dito lang sa crease. Apply ko na siya sa crease. And then, away. Ganyan. Out. So, yung mga gantong flat brush for eyeshadow, maganda siya for shaping. So, tinatry kong i-shape ang magiging eye look ko for today. Using yung small, actually this is, hindi siya masyadong small for me. So, um, dump lang ako doon sa same na shade. So, ang ginagawa ko is pag ganitong angle and then pag ganyan. Okay, so pag ganon. I-blend out ko lang yung, so same na position, 
Ibe-blend ko lang sila. So actually, sa crease lang tayo mag-focus. Medyo mahirap pa ah. Kasi ang laki. Malaki siya for my eyes. So yung may mga... Wala talaga fallout. Yung mga... Maliliit lang din yung eyes, like me. Careful kayo sa paglalagay. Kasi tina mo ako. Ayan, medyo matagal na nung last na naglaro ako na naglaro eh. No? Medyo matagal na since I last played with colored eyeshadow. Okay, so yan. Um, medyo nahirapan ako dito sa ano nga, sa small eyeshadow blender. Pero okay naman, na-blend naman siya. Okay. Next, I'm gonna picking up yung eyeshadow shader brush pa din. And then, dito tayo sa like. Um, other side tayo. So, kukunin ko yung like. So, ito siya. Tama ba? Medyo dark siya. Wala talagang fall out. Okay. So, right below lang doon sa ating ginawang transition shade. Okay, so now, kukunin ko yung small na blender brush. I-blend ko siya together. I'm going to try yung cut crease dito sa... Cut crease? Cut? Dito sa eye look natin. Okay, so now, try natin yung angled brush, okay? I'm going to pick up yung shade na macchiato here. Ayan. So, ganun lang din na angle, patusok, kumbaga. And then, what I'd like to do is, focus ko siya sa outer corner. Let's see. Ayan, so parang ma-shape ko na yung pa, pa V. Yeah, I think okay siya sa, okay siya sa ano, sa eyeshadow for V. Ganyan. Parang gusto ko pang mas intense. So, I'm going to use this small shader brush. Idediretso ko siya sa outer corner. Yan! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like this more. And then, dun ko nakukunin si yung bigger na blending brush. So, ito yung bigger blending brush. And then, ibiblend natin sila together. And also, gagamitin din natin yung small angled brush para dito sa ilalim. So, tingnan natin kung may natitira siyang product. Ayan, meron pa naman. So... Of course, using the same concealer, I'm just going to put the concealer dito sa back of my hand. And then, I'll go ahead and pick up the product here as small as possible. And then, we will um, get this Mercy na shade. So, lalagay natin siya dun sa kinat crease natin. Using yung blending brush ulit, kukunin ko yung macchiato and then magkukunikin ko silang ganyan. And blend with a bigger blending brush. Yan. Kung mapapansin nyo may iniwan ako doon kasi, kasi may lalagay tayo na shimmer shade doon. A few moments later. Kumplituhin ko lang yung eye look and I'll be right back. So guys, this is the final look. What do you think? Ayan, so. Kung tatulangin nyo ako if these are recommended brushes, definitely it's a yes. Yun nga lang yung sinabi ko kanina. As a beginner, if wala yung mga names or your purpose ng mga brushes nila doon sa label. May hirapan tayo kung saan-saan talaga gagamitin. For this brushes, since meron silang label, so very good yon Mama Ann, meron na silang mga names para malaman natin kung para saan sila. So, yung mga multi-purpose lang for me are the Flat Angle Kabuki, since pwede nga rin siya for blush, actually. Yan, ganyan siya. And then, yung angled na small angled brush. Nakita nyo naman yung struggle ko sa kilay. So, I think this is a more 
um, applicable sa eyeshadow for me ha may iba siguro mas okay to kasi makapal may iba kasi siguro na they prefer yung makapal na angled brush for me gusto ko manipis and mas mahaba sana na handle and what else may napasama pang isang brush yeah everything looks nice and dito sa blending brush this is really you know it's really big to, for my eyes but i can easily blend using this blending brush and then this one is a blender so flat brush siya maganda rin siyang pang pack ng mga darker colors or even yung yung first transition shade yan pinili ko lang na gamitin itong flat brush para makita natin kung paano yung application so this can, this is very similar doon sa kanyang concealer brush de ba so they can both be used for concealer so not necessarily naman na kung ano yung name nila dito yun lang specific lang yung gagamitan mo de ba so pwede mo rin siyang gamitin halimbawa itong contour syempre pwede mo rin siyang gamitin for, for bronzing pwede nga rin to sa blush eh de ba and ito yung medyo game changer for me kasi ang ganda niyang i-apply as ano as hi as highlighter and dito sa dito sa Cupid's bow. So, then gagamitin ko 'ton sa every ano ko, every look ko. I'll try to use this brush. So, sa wakas na gamit ko na yung mga bagong brushes ko. Okay? So, let me know in the comment section if you would buy these brushes and if gagayahin mo ba ang akin look for today. Ayan. So, let me know in the comment section or tag me, match made me buy this para makita ni mama Ayan. So, let me just feature the comments of the day. Thank you so much for posting your comments and if you want to be featured on my next video, all you have to do is post your comment too. Mamimili lang ako ng magandang comments and I will feature that on my next video. Alright, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if hindi mo pa nagagawa. So follow me on my social media accounts that I will show to you right after this. Bye!